I think a lot of what holds people back are they have a lot of fears and limiting beliefs as well, right? It's all internal. So what are your tips on how to overcome those things to actually take that first action? You're a hundred percent right. I mean, when, when we asked people what was holding them back from the, the things that they most wanted to do, it was, uh, it was really one of two things. It was that they just never got around to it, never planned it, or it was, they were afraid. Um, so there's a whole chapter in the book about fear. Um, and that was, it's one of my favorite chapters because it's something that everybody has in common. You know, everyone is afraid of something and we're, we're living in this society that, you know, breeds that it's like everything is made to be scary. Well, cause <laughs> really like we love our comfort scary. zones, right. And oh, everything yeah. good yeah. is outside of our comfort zone. Yeah. So how do you, how do you push people and give them that nudge? Yeah. So for me, it's in, for many people, it's, it's really like exposure. And I go through a few stories in the book about how, like one of the stories was, uh, I did all 50 States in the country. And, um, I loved that experience because not only was it just awesome to go to all 50 States, but I also like met with people in every state and like got to know people and like where they're coming from maybe they have different beliefs than i do you know politically or you know they're different you know races genders whatever it might be like you just have to expose yourself to more and then you'll be like oh everyone is just a person and like we're all like 99 percent the same right like we don't have to fear someone or something just because it's different we have to like embrace it and be open to it and then that makes it more you know easy to not fear. And if, even if you take like, say you're, you know, afraid of sharks, <laughs> you go like, you're like, I don't want to go surfing, but I really want to learn. So if you just go and you keep going, then you'll realize that it's just in your head, you know, like it's your brain telling you like this potentially could be dangerous or scary, but the reality is that it's really not. And it's just all in your head. So you just have to like do something and then once you get that momentum and once you like see that it's not that bad you can hopefully just keep going everyone has this tendency to absolutely over exaggerate in their minds what the worst possible outcome of something is that's what the fear is right it's like i'm going to do this thing and this i'm going to think of the absolute most horrifying outcome but we underestimate what the you know, the best possible positive outcome could be. So a big step for a lot of people is to stop and really think about that. Like, what's the worst thing that can happen? What's the best thing that could happen? And when you really break it down, almost everything that you're afraid of doing has far greater upside than downside. A lot of the time, most of the time, it's literally just socially being embarrassed of failing. You know, it's like people are afraid someone's going to see them fail at something or be a beginner at something. And we don't want to be beginners. We want to be cool and proficient, right? Once you get past that and realize this is your experience, you're denying yourself the experience of some thing, some activity, some whatever it is you're trying to do because of what other people might think, that's like you're punishing yourself. You're literally like, you know, hurting your your potential for a good time and a good life. And I think another way to get over those things is to really just like the other goal setting things is to break it into the smallest steps, the things you can achieve, you know? So for surfing, for instance, is an example that's extreme because not everybody lives by the beach, but surfing's really hard. So if you told yourself you're going to go surfing today, you know, a good goal would be, I'm going to get in the water with my surfboard and paddle around because you're probably not going to catch a wave by the way on your first day, you know, without an instructor or whatever else. Um, but that just shows commitment to like going and getting in the water. And you know what's going to happen? You're going to have fun. You're going to have fun mm. not even being good because you set the bar <laughs> low and you got in the yeah. water and you did an activity that was new and memorable. But with anything that you're planning on doing, setting the bar low, creating those the, with the smallest step you can take to get that momentum going. And that's going to be helpful. And the other last part I'll add about that is the people that you surround yourself with are so important. So if you have a goal and you have a fear of doing it, find other people that have those goals or that'll support you in that goal because that'll push you so far, so much further than you can do things alone. And you can't always mm -hmm. find actual people, but we live in a very wonderful time with you. Once you remove all the, the downsides of technology, stealing all of your free time away, um, it actually has so much potential benefit. You know, there's tons and tons we can learn from people, 
whether it's on YouTube or finding somebody like on an online kind of presence that can help become like an accountability partner to get you moving. Yeah. I think like one last thing on fear is that we always talk about being afraid of what's bad things are going to happen, right? But I think that one thing that we don't talk about enough is like the fear of success and what that looks like. You know, it's like, say my goal is like to be a, you know, famous like movie star, which it's not, by the way. (laughs) If it was, what would that look like if it actually came true? Like my life would be completely different and that's scary. And so people are often like afraid of what if it did happen? And do I really want that? So that's definitely something to think about when you lay out your goals. And I think the the big exclamation point on it all, though, is that the study and all the stuff that we learned is that as people get older, they realize that what they should have feared was the regret because yeah. that's what you wind up with. Yeah. If we had that same amount of fear for the regret when we were young, we would do all this stuff. But, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's all flipped. (laughs) You should just fear not doing anything. And that's the only thing to fear. 